If you put it where the sun is, it would loosen up to the circle of Jupiter, a monster totally shaky and going to explode. They are among the most prominent impacts of radio energy in the entire universe, delivering more energy than a billion suns. Bug Jew, or Frightening Crawly Jew, is a red Goliath star. In the event that you put it where the sun is, it would connect with the circle of Jupiter, monstrous, completely unpredictable, also going to explode. When we consider stars, we most likely imagine minimal, gleaming things at the night sky. Basically, this is the way we see them from down here on the planet. Yet, stars are something completely different. Actually, one of the most prominent stars, Betelgeuse, is a lot greater than our sun. For very much a long time, this star has confused analysts. However, actually, something additional upsetting has been happening with Bugju, making analysts and other very well-educated individuals incredibly concerned. Oblige us in this video as we research the marvelous news about Betelgeuse, its approaching obliteration, exactly as expected by the James Webb Space Telescope, and how this new headway will impact our universe and our lives here on Earth. As made sense of by physicist Michio Kaku, Insect Juice is a huge marvel, a huge star that has interested cosmologists for such a long time. A Greek stargazer named Antonius was the first to find it. This star is so giant that it tends to be viewed as in the night sky from Earth, particularly during winter. On the off chance that you're into cosmology, you've most likely seen or caught wind of this star. The blushing orange star marks the upper left shoulder of the Orion constellation. So, you see, this star is antiquated and thus far quite possibly of the most splendid stars in the night sky. But one thing about Betelgeuse's brightness is that it doesn't stay consistent. Rather, it varies. This change is one of the great properties of the star, but it isn't the only one. We should investigate some of Betelgeuse's specific properties. The majority of the stars you see in the night sky are far from Earth. The nearest star is 4.2 light years from Earth. In case you neglect to perceive how the term light years gives a sense of distance, picture it this way. Consider moving at the speed of light for a whole year. It's been shown that light can cover a distance of 186,000 miles per second. Thus, the distance light can cover in a year is comparable to one light year. Expecting you crunch the numbers, you'll have billions of miles. So, when we say the closest star is 4.2 light years away, it means it is billions of miles from Earth. Anyway, contemplate this. A few stars are fundamentally farther, and Bugju is one of them. Bugju is found around 600 light years from Earth, so if you somehow end up going to it at the speed of light, it would still require 600 years. We can't move that quick. Not even our speediest space rockets can. Yet, this star can still shine so brilliantly in our sky. If you're considering how insect juice can be so splendid, regardless of its distance, that's a result of its unique qualities, like size and brilliance. Betelgeuse is multiple times greater than our sun. Its radius is acknowledged to be, on different occasions, that of the sun. Tragically, it shows up as a disk in space while utilizing modern telescopes. While various stars show up as little focuses of light, this appearance is thought to be an impact of the responses at the outer layers of its atmosphere. With regards to mass, Insect juice weighs around 12 to 19 solar masses. A solar mass is the standard unit of mass used by space experts. One solar mass is comparable to 2 by 10 to the power of 30 kilograms. Scientists can't choose the specific mass of Betelgeuse since there are no other planetary bodies circling around it to compare it with, and obviously we can't measure it directly from here on Earth. However, this makes Betelgeuse at least on different occasions heavier than our sun. The brightness of Betelgeuse goes from magnitude plus zero to plus 1.6. In more conspicuous terms, Betelgeuse is on numerous occasions more splendid than our sun. No big surprise it was nicknamed a Red Goliath. However, the brightness of Betelgeuse doesn't stay consistent. It fluctuates. This change is due to its pulsations or, as such, Betelgeuse grows and contracts. When it develops, it gets more brilliant. When it contracts, it dims. This cycle can endure for 10 to 100 days or even significantly longer. A novel property of Betelgeuse is that its surface is covered in dark magnetic spots. The magnetic field here is far more grounded than at the typical surface. Anyway, the disadvantage is these strong magnetic spots frustrate the stream of hot gas to the star's outer surface, making the star cooler in these regions. 
The fact that Betelgeuse has so many of these spots compared to our sun makes sense of why it is cooler than our sun, regardless of its size and brightness. The sun also has its own dark magnetic spots, but those on Betelgeuse are much larger and significantly more numerous. To give you an idea, the spots on Betelgeuse can be twice as large as Earth. Betelgeuse also boasts a magnetic field that is on different occasions more grounded than that of the sun. This field is the reason that when seen through a telescope, the gases on the outer layer of Betelgeuse appear to be in circles or curves. Betelgeuse has a surface temperature of around 3,500 kelvins. This low temperature contributes to the low energy radiated by the star and its weak red tone. Betelgeuse is a red star, but it wasn't always red. It was yellowish around 10 million years ago, much like our sun. Over time, the color began changing to orange, red, and then, around 100,000 years ago, it slowly started transforming into the red star we know today. This fact has led scientists to believe that the star is maturing. Betelgeuse produces as much as 100,000 times more energy than the sun. It would have been a furious contender to Earth's sun if it weren't so far away. The fact that Betelgeuse, which is 600 light years away, can still be seen and related to the unaided eye around evening time is extremely striking. Our sun is only 8.3 light minutes from Earth. That's why it's so strong. If Betelgeuse were just somewhat closer, we would also be able to see it during the daytime. But if it were to replace the sun, it would consume or displace the Earth and the other four planets near it because of its gigantic size. Besides, regardless of whether it were to match the sun in size, it would still discharge more radiation. Insect juice, also known as bug ju, is a very giant star located in the constellation Orion, about 600 light years from Earth. Its gigantic size is one of its most striking components. It is multiple times greater than our Sun in terms of radius and could easily incorporate the circle of Jupiter if placed at the center of our solar system. This legendary size allows Betelgeuse to appear as a disk instead of a point of light when viewed through powerful telescopes. In contrast to most other stars, despite its gigantic size, Betelgeuse isn't the most enormous star. Its mass ranges from around 12 to 19 times that of the Sun. This variation in mass estimates is due to the challenges in precisely measuring the mass of stars that lack companion stars or other objects to provide gravitational reference points. Indeed, even at its lower estimated mass, Betelgeuse remains a huge celestial body. The brightness of Betelgeuse is another key characteristic. It fluctuates consistently over time, with its brightness going from magnitude 0 to plus 1.6. For comparison, a magnitude 0 star is about 2.5 times brighter than a magnitude plus 1 star. At its brightest, Betelgeuse can ultimately be up to 1,000 times more brilliant than our Sun. This fluctuation is ascribed to its pulsations, intermittent expansions and contractions caused by internal cycles within the star. When Betelgeuse expands, it becomes brighter. When it contracts, it dims. These pulsations can last for months, adding to its dynamic appearance in the night sky. Betelgeuse's surface temperature is relatively low for such a large star, measuring around 3,500 kelvins. This gives it a distinct red color typical of red giant stars nearing the end of their life cycles. Like other red giants, Betelgeuse is in the late stages of stellar evolution. It has depleted the hydrogen fuel in its core and has begun fusing heavier elements. This fusion process produces energy and causes the star to expand outward. The star's atmosphere is rich in complex physical phenomena. It displays dark magnetic spots on its surface, where the magnetic field is stronger than the surrounding areas. These spots prevent the convection of heat, leading to cooler regions on the surface. Despite these cooler spots, Betelgeuse remains a massive, vigorous star but it will eventually meet its end in a spectacular supernova. Betelgeuse is an enormous star approaching the end of its life, and its possible fate will be a dramatic one. When it runs out of fuel, it will undergo an extreme process of fusion, turning heavier elements like helium and carbon. This will cause the star to expand to possibly much greater sizes, making it one of the largest stars in the night sky before it dies in a cosmic explosion. A catastrophic blast that marks the death of a massive star. The power of a supernova is strong enough to briefly outshine an entire galaxy. This phenomenon could potentially send shockwaves through space, 
and it's possible Beetlejuice will undergo such an explosive end very soon. This fate, while not immediate, is something scientists are carefully studying, hoping to learn more about the future of stars and the evolution of the universe. As Beetlejuice nears the end of its stellar life, astronomers are paying close attention to its behavior. The star is expected to eventually go supernova, an explosive event that will result in the ejection of its outer layers into space, leaving behind a dense core. This core could become a neutron star or collapse further into a black hole, depending on its mass. A supernova is a cataclysmic event in a star's life cycle, signaling the final stages of its evolution. Betelgeuse's eventual supernova could be visible from Earth without the aid of a telescope, given its immense brightness and relative proximity. This explosion would release vast amounts of energy, creating heavy elements like iron and nickel, which are essential to the formation of planets and other celestial bodies. These elements would be scattered throughout the cosmos, enriching the interstellar medium and contributing to the creation of future generations of stars and planets. Interestingly, scientists have been able to detect strange fluctuations in Betelgeuse's brightness in recent years, leading to speculation that the star could be on the brink of a supernova. However, despite these variations, it's difficult to predict exactly when the star will explode. Some researchers have suggested that Betelgeuse could go supernova within the next 100,000 years, a short span in the life of the universe but still too far away to pinpoint accurately. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has provided new insights into the star's behavior. It's infrared. Capabilities allow scientists to study the star's outer layers and magnetic fields in unprecedented detail. The JWST's findings have helped confirm the star's ongoing changes, including its irregular brightness and potential instability. These observations offer valuable information about the processes leading up to a star's death, providing a better understanding of stellar evolution. Betelgeuse's death will have far-reaching implications for the universe. The supernova shockwave could potentially trigger the formation of new stars in the surrounding region, furthering the cycle of stellar birth and death. Additionally, the elements produced by the explosion will spread throughout space, contributing to the building blocks of new worlds. In the grand scheme of cosmic evolution, the death of Betelgeuse will not only mark the end of one of the most massive stars we can observe, but also pave the way for the next generation of celestial objects. Although we won't be around to witness the star's final moments, the study of Betelgeuse provides valuable insights into the life cycles of stars and the dynamic nature of the universe. The research conducted on this star helps astronomers better understand the processes that govern stellar birth, life, and death, and it offers a glimpse into the fate of other stars that share similar characteristics. In the future, scientists hope to continue studying Betelgeuse with the help of advanced technologies and space observatories. The data gathered from this star will continue to shape our understanding of astrophysics, helping us unlock the mysteries of how stars evolve and what their explosive deaths mean for the universe as a whole. Betelgeuse, as a massive and dynamic star, is a key piece of the cosmic puzzle, and its eventual demise will be one of the most fascinating events in the life of our galaxy. While Betelgeuse's death is inevitable, it's important to remember that the universe is constantly changing and evolving. New stars are being born all the time, and the energy released by supernovae like Betelgeuse's will ensure that the cycle of life and death in the cosmos continues. The legacy of Betelgeuse will live on, not only in the elements it produces, but also in the knowledge it has provided to generations of astronomers and stargazers. By studying stars like Betelgeuse, we can continue to unravel the mysteries of our universe, understanding more about the forces at work in the cosmos and our place within it. As we learn from these celestial giants, we are reminded of the vastness and complexity of space and the awe-inspiring processes that shape the universe we call home.